So Hannibal is going to talk to us about the, I, I love this, about the uh, New York City uh, driver pay block for rideshare drivers. And you guys, this was supposed to go into effect on December 19th. So of course it's happening right now. Happy Christmas. Yeah. Drivers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uber decided to, <laughs> uh, th- th- you know, be the Grinch in terms of stopping that. So about four days ago, December 11th, Uber sued uh, New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission. TLC um, over the increased pay rates for the Uber drivers. The pay rates was going to go. Let me look up right. Um, per minute rates will go seven point eighteen percent, and their per mile rate will go up sixteen point eleven percent. So Uber was crying. They're saying this is too much money. We can't afford this. This was uh, Uber said is going to spend an extra twenty one to twenty three million dollars a month if this rule is going to go into effect. And of course, the company was going to say it was going to put you know push those costs to the riders which is already it's pretty high as it is uh, to be you know to ride and do some of these apps um so you know they they put that suit and then uh i guess was it yesterday uh friday well friday but then now uh manhattan judge has granted uber's bid to temporarily block the pay right hike for the um, ride share drivers so they're supposed to get it december 9th they won't and i guess this will be going back and forth in court um, you know, I mean, TLC, they said they're going to re- appeal the decision at this point. It just goes into the whole court back and forth, that type of thing. But if I was Uber driver, right, share driver, I would feel really disappointed in this in terms of you just another pawn in the back and forth games between TLC and Uber. Um, I'm th- this is not going to stop riders or ride share drivers to go out there because they, they are making money. Um, for the most part, you just got to live in your car, uh, because it, you know, you're competing with a lot of drivers and, and and you know the money is good if you put in the hours to do so but um you know uber has to deal with a lot uber doordash all of them because next year it starts in january food uh, delivery drivers are going to get 17 dollars an hour so i think uber is looking at like how much money is this going to cost us with the ride share with the increase of ride share and the increase of food delivery so i, I could see why they have to do this that you know, want to protect their you know their interests but um i don't know how it's going to go i think of it, it may just still go on the side of the drivers to get that raise, but um, 20 something million dollars per month. I mean, yeah, that's any cost that a company would try to fight to um, not have to put out there, but I guess we'll see. The, uh, the, what you just spoke of too, for the $23 an hour for delivery workers for, I guess it's going to be active time or whatever. They're still um, going back and forth with it. So it, it'll be yes. $24 in a few years if implemented. I, I was just like, going to say, so Uber is now, it, it, this is out in the New York times today. Uber is now challenging um, that and they want it, they want it to take place in 2026. Just kick the can down the road. <laughs> right? I mean, that's, that's right? three years down the road, though. Hey, yeah. hey there's an unrealistic goal. <laughs> the story, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, New York, New York is you know still a really powerful economy within itself. But if you have to pay your food delivery drivers and your ride share drivers more money and a downturn in the economy, as we're all predicting, it's not surprising that Uber is going to try to stop this or at least delay it as much as possible. Maybe thinking the economy may turn around, they may be able to afford it in a couple of years, but um, this is not a big surprise. It just sucks that the drivers probably were expecting something, even if it worked or not, yeah. but they were expecting to get a little bit more money and that's not happening. And that's, that's unfortunate, especially during, during this time. I mean, literally next week is what, Christmas. It's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. But um, I mean, did you, did, did anybody on this panel think that it would happen any other way? Not that I thought it would happen another way, but it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's par for the course. If, if we put any more than two seconds versus a thought in it, it's par for the course of Uber. They had to do it, right? Before, I'm, I'm, before the, here's before what the I'm 19th. surprised of, Gary, right. is that they found a judge after all these years to give them, to give them their day in court. Like, yeah, I, 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 I thought the Christmas judges in too. New York had kind of had it with them. <laughs> no, but they've done, they've been down this road 100 or 50 times. And every time have been shut down. Nope, nope, nope. We've let you appeal that too many times. Forget it. Yeah, they they they're going to ha- um, hear you know. arguments um, January thirty first. 